previously on Home and Away. Where are those flyers you did up for me this morning? Why? Because I can't stand by and watch that bloke take over this town. I'm going to run against him. I can get you your money by the end of the week. Oh, my God, thank you. I'll never forget this ever, ever, ever. Well, you can thank me by not telling him to you. Mink's gone. I love you. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. Is this why you want Heath to come to the city with us? You want to keep him away from Jeffrey King? Yeah. Yeah, he's trying to pressure me into selling. Hey, do you want to have dinner tomorrow night? I can't. I've got to work. Yeah, that's all right. It's short notice. But I can uh, do lunch. Really? Yeah. What do you want, Marilyn? You and I both know that your feelings for Leah are going to complicate this situation beyond words. I know it's hard to walk away, but you can't keep feeling responsible for him. And maybe he will step up when he realises he doesn't have you to lean on anymore. <laughs> OK, it mightn't sound likely, but... I don't know, maybe you've just got to have a bit of faith in your brother. Like I had in you. Sergeant Buckton. John, hi. If you're not too busy, I thought you might like to know that I just saw this bloke's brother dealing drugs outside the club. Oh, yeah. You saw drugs change hands? No, but I saw him accept money. Well, hang on. Get your story straight. If you didn't see any drugs, how can you say he was selling? He's taking money from kids. He's obviously dealing. Hey. Come in. There have been some serious allegations levelled against you. What allegations? The witness says you were dealing drugs to kids. So I'm going to need you to empty your pockets. Who? Me? And there's a surprise. I'm not going to ask you again. Can you empty your pockets? You got a warrant? I don't need one. So you're physically going to force me to do it? I'd like to see you try that. Please. I'm not dealing. Fine. Then you won't mind emptying your pockets. 